Blackberry Failure Case Study. This video is created by Learnica students, Abhinav Gupta, Aditya Khandelwal, Shivansh Gupta. Today, in this video, we will show you how a tech giant, Blackberry, went from hill to kneel real quickly. So stay with us while we dive right into it and discover some amazing things. But before starting, did you know? The company is said to have included a text editor far better than the text editors the smartphones have nowadays, at the time when the first Blackberry was introduced. Intro Diction and Background Blackberry Limited is a Canadian company having operations in many countries and was initially known as Research in Motion RIM. It specialized in enterprise software and IoT. Blackberry brand was developed out of interactive pages, smartphones, and tablets, and they focused on their consumer base which included various businesses, karmikas, and government agencies. Blackberry was established in 1984 as Research in Motion or RIM and it was founded by Mike Lazaridis and Douglas Fregan. Blackberry's original strategy was to subcontract manufacturing to other companies like Foxconn, and it focused on software technology. Currently, Blackberry's strategy is to focus on forming partnerships with device manufacturers such as TCL Communication and consolidating Blackberry's software portfolio. Vision and Rise of Blackberry Blackberry's vision was to become the world's leading provider of end-to-end -end mobility solutions, which are the most secure and trusted around the globe. Blackberry was a king of the smartphones, in 2011, the company was selling more than 50 million units. It was dominating 50% of the smartphone market in the US and 20% globally at its peak. Blackberry phones were everywhere, and it was like a status symbol as it figured out a way to make its phone indispensable to wealthy and powerful people. During the time of its peak, famous Hollywood and Bollywood celebs like Kim Kardashian, Brad Pitt, Drake, Katrina Kaif, Ranbir Kapoor to name a few were spotted using Blackberry phones. It was equally popular amongst world leaders as well, US President Barack Obama being one of its prominent users. Beginning of the Fall Blackberry had ambitious plans to take its market share further but these plans did not unfold as anticipated and with that began the downfall of Blackberry. Blackberry lacked a bunch of features that appealed to consumers, like front and back cameras, and for app developers, Blackberry's competitors like Android and Apple were at top priority. They launched its spec competitive touchscreen phone in 2013, but it was too late for it to catch with the trend. Blackberry thought its loyal customers would wait for the new launch of their product but at this point, people were locked into either iPhone or Android phone. Ultimately, Blackberry's global market share went downward, going from 20% to less than 5% in 2012. Out of 432 million smartphones sold, only 207,900 were Blackberry devices in 2016. Now, Blackberry has officially fallen to nearly 0.5% share in the smartphone market. Reasons for Blackberry's demise Blackberry didn't take advantage of the consumer-focused application economy which resulted in massive adoption to iPhones and Androids. Group of users started trading Blackberry for iPhones and Androids. They incorrectly believed that the corporate world would drive smartphone adoption rather than the consumer world. They focused on security and keyboard ease of use to lead the corporate market while on other hand Google and Apple were focusing on touchscreens, cameras, speakers, and video viewing that appealed to the consumers. When the company tried to launch a device for the consumer world with touchscreen rather than keyboard in 2015, the company did not stack up against the smoothness of Android and iPhones. Thus, focusing on corporate consumers rather than normal consumers while it was obvious that doing so was a wrong decision taken by BlackBerry's management which blocked its way to make a comeback. Another main reason behind the failure of BlackBerry was it lacked an emotional connect with the customers. Also, it did not have a unique brand positioning since most of the BlackBerry users switched across to Apple. Learnica has taken a small step by educating people about digital marketing at no upfront fees and providing guaranteed placements, guaranteed placements or pay nothing at all. For more information, visit www.learnica.com. Can you believe it? Back in the days, people using BlackBerry devices were suffering from thumb injury, which was universally known as the BlackBerry injury and it is a part of medical science research now. Conclusion to some extent, it succeeds as the phone feels great and the operating system can also be improved but the company is stuck in years of keyboard and touchscreen phones. But the lack of a strong BlackBerry ecosystem plays a major role in the company going downwards. BlackBerry as a primary phone had limited functionality and app offerings as compared to Android devices and iPhones. At last, we would like you to answer a question. Do you think there is any other reason that resulted in the failure of BlackBerry company? Do answer the question in the comment section. For more amazing content, subscribe to the channel Case Study by Learnica, and do like and share the video to motivate our students. Thank you.